remain here, please, if you would. Would you like to? Point is, you knew that you were going to present an award, didn't you? But uh, to receive one was a little bit of a surprise. Andrew knew he was coming here to take part in the first of the awards, which is uh, not voted for by the BPI. It is the best British classical recording. And the nominations, Michael Tippett's The Mask of Time, recorded by the BBC Symphony Orchestra, Singers and Chorus, conducted by Andrew Davis. Vaughan Williams' Fifth Symphony with the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Society, conducted by Vernon Handley. Hummel's Piano Concertos 1 and 2, played by Stephen Huff with the English Chamber Orchestra, conducted by Bryden Thompson. And fourthly, the Beethoven Symphonies, numbers 2 and 8, recorded by the London Classical Players, conducted by Roger Norrington. And finally, Mahler's Symphony, number 2, performed by the City of Birmingham Symphony Orchestra and Chorus, and conducted by Simon Rattle. <laughs> Andrew. Well, the winner of the best, the best British classical recording for 1988 is the performance by Vernon Hadley and the Royal Philharmon Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra, Vaughan Williams Symphony No. 5. Now, this is in fact the second award for Vernon Hadley because in 1986, you may remember that Nigel Kennedy's Elgar Violin Concerto won the award and the conductor of that was Vernon Handley. He sold 100,000 copies of that particular recording. The most distinguished pupil of Sir Adrian Bolt first came to prominence when he took over Sir Adrian's mantle as the champion of British romantic music in the mid-70s. Amongst his current professional activities, he's associate conductor of the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Society. I hold this award for a number of people. In the classical world, it's not easy to do things by yourself. Firstly, for Trish Byrne and her marvelous team at Music for Pleasure for going on asking me to conduct British music with the symphony orchestras in Great Britain. Secondly, I have the best production team that I could possibly have. A marvelous engineer in Mike Clements and an astonishing producer in Andrew Keener. But I, I know that none of those people would mind if I reserved the best thanks of all for the Royal Liverpool Philharmonic Orchestra. When we made this record, we were going through hard times up there. And I say we because I've been going up as a guest conductor for 20 years. They played, as I expect them to play, great professionals and with great warmth. And a little thanks of my own uh, for my wife, Catherine, who encouraged me during a hard time as well to look forward to the recordings. Um, when I went, I knew the sessions were going to be great. They've lived up to my expectations. Thank you too to the BPI for making sure there's a classical category here for us to compete with. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well said, Bernard Handley, Classical Recording of the Year award winner.